lead generation and lead classification have been among the most demanding jobs for decades. If you are running a business or working in a service provider office, you must know the importance of lead generation. You can even make a huge amount of money just by collecting or classifying leads. But manually collecting or classifying leads is a lengthy and boring task. What if I tell you that now you can collect leads with a click? You don't have to do anything, and it will take only a few seconds? Yes, we can do it using Vectorshift AI. Today, I'm going to share the method of how you can create an automated pipeline to generate or collect leads using Vectorshift. So, watch this video till the end. Okay, this is Vectorshift AI. It's not an AI tool, it's an AI tool builder. Yes, you can create your own AI apps or SaaS tools using Vectorshift AI. I will put the link in the description. Once you are on the Vectorshift AI homepage, click on Get Started for Free and then create an account. Once you are logged in, your interface will be like this. Here you can notice some of my previously created pipelines, next, some templates and some resources. And on the left side of the page, you will find all the options. Okay, now let's see how we can create an automation system to generate leads. For example, I want to collect law firm names, phone numbers, and emails in Google Sheets. I have already created a sheet like this. Now let's build the automation system. First of all, we have to create a pipeline. So, click on the new pipeline button from here. You will find some templates. However, we have to click on create pipeline to create a new pipeline. Okay, this is the vector shift pipeline builder. At the top of the page, you will find various nodes to use in your pipeline. First of all, we have to add input nodes, which means the search query in our case. I am adding an input node. Now I will rename it as subject. You can change the input type. Here you will find a bunch of options like files, audio, images, and others. As we will input only text, I will keep it text. This is our subject input. Now I will add another input node as the location input. Okay, our input node is ready. Now you have to conduct a web search with these inputs. Before that, I will add a large language model to create a perfect search query just from the subject and location so that we can scrape the specific data. I am adding OpenAI LLM from the LLMs tab. Here you will find sections, system and prompt. In the system box, we have to enter the instruction or what we want from the LLM. I am entering a ready prompt to generate a custom search query. By the way, you will find all the prompts used in the pipeline in the description box. Now we have to connect the input node with the OpenAI LLM node. Simply drag and drop or add a variable from here. Once the search query node is ready, we have to add a web search conducting node. So, I will add the web search node from the data loaders tab. You will find all the popular search engines. I will go with Google search. Once the Google search node is ready, I will connect the input node with the search node. You can set the result count from here. For tutorial purposes, I am setting it to five. Now to extract the search result, we need an output node. I am adding an output node. Once the node is added, connect it. Here you find that there are two fields in the Google search output, the URLs and snippets. We have to mention them. I will select as website information we need. Okay, now if we run the pipeline, you will get an interface like this. If you enter the subject and location here in the related box and then hit the run button, the pipeline will start working. And here you can see it provides some URL links. Now we can scrape these URLs and extract the data we need. To do that, we will create another pipeline. So. Save this pipeline. I am saving it as the Google search pipeline. After entering the name, click on Deploy Changes. Now, come back to the home page and create another pipeline. First, we will add the input node. This time, I will name it URLS. Here in this node, we will add URLs. And to scrape data from these URLs, we have to add a URL loader node. After adding the URL loader, simply connect with the input node. Now we have to extract the data we need from the scraped data. So, I will add an OpenAI LLM node. This time, in the system simply type, extract the firm name from the data and return nothing else. Now duplicate the node and mention what you need. For example, I am asking to extract the phone number. In this way, duplicate the node and ask for everything you need. Now we have to connect every node with the web scraper node. Okay, we are done. Now we have to add the output. I will extract the data directly to my Google Sheet, so I will add a Google Sheet node from the integration tab. Here you will find some options, 
we have to choose the Add New Row. Now click Next, and then click Pick the File, and then select the related file. If your Google Sheet is not connected already, connect the file. And here it is, you can see all the columns are visible here. Now we have to connect the related OpenAI nodes. This is the firm's name, nodes, I am connecting this one with the firm's name. Next, this one is phone number, I am connecting with the related one. And in the end, I am connecting the email columns with the email extractor node. Okay, our pipeline is ready. Now save the pipeline and deploy it. Once done, come back to the pipeline tab and open the Google search pipeline. We will add the data scraper pipeline to this pipeline. First, I will remove the output node from here. After removing the output node, I will add a pipeline node. Once the node is added, find and select the data scraper node. As our data scraper node has only one input, you can see, the URL's input is here. Now we have to connect the web search node with this pipeline input. Once they are connected, deploy the pipeline. We have to do another thing before that. As we will get multiple URLs output, we need to enable the list mode on our pipeline. So click here and enable the list mode, and after that, click on Deploy Changes. Now let's run the pipeline. Once the pipeline is running, enter the input values and then hit the Run button. Our pipeline is working. Let's head over to the Google Sheet. You can see that the data is being inserted automatically. This is just amazing. And here it is, our data is now saved. You can see the firm name, phone number, and email. Some of them do not have an email and number. That's because of our search parameters. You can solve it with a more precise search. As I am only sharing the method, I am not diving deep. So in this method, you can automatically collect leads only with keywords using the Vectorshift pipeline. And it's super easy. This is not the end, you can build any kind of SaaS app using Vectorshift. We already made videos on them, you can see them from the end screen. Alright friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that I would love to hear about your experience of creating a lead generation automation pipeline with AI. Share your thoughts and results in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating!